In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Evergoods Mountain Panel Loader 30. Now, this isn't necessarily a travel backpack. When two guys come together from Patagonia and GORUCK, it definitely catches our attention. And we're curious to check it out. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we do travel gear reviews like this all the time. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So without further ado, let's jump right into the MPL 30 from Evergoods. Hopefully you like black because the MPL 30 only comes in that color. For us personally, that's plenty, but you're not gonna get a lot of other color variety options like you would see in other packs. The exterior of this pack is covered with a 420D high tenacity nylon with the one by one plane weave and polyurethane coating on the back, which is a technical way of saying that the pack is durable, abrasion resistant, and worth the weight. And there are a couple other areas that are made out of 500D nylon as well. We've generally found this fabric to be very durable in our testing, although it's not completely dustproof, but again, it's black, not a lot of packs are. The overall shape of this pack is very ergonomic between the curved straps in the front and the curved frame sheet and the shape of it in the back, as well as the kind of wedge look on the bottom. It has an overall kind of aggressive look to it and definitely fits to your body well, is super comfortable and looks slick. It's also highly compressible, so on days when you're not carrying as much, say you take out a bunch of packing cubes, leave them at your hotel or Airbnb, you can actually compress the pack down and it has a lot lower of a profile than if it's completely full. So that's definitely a plus in the aesthetic department. The pack uses Duraflex plastic throughout on these compression straps as well as the buckles. And then also nicely, there's the Evergoods logo underneath this two by two inch patch area that we have on the front of the pack. This is a reflector patch that they've included, but again, anything with Velcro will work here. Evergoods is super into the details and they do a great job at openly sharing this for people that wanna get this information. So they sent us a three page, very detailed PDF on all the materials and we were super excited to look into that. Evergoods definitely put a lot of thought into the details of the MPL 30 and it really shows. Starting off with the compression straps, Evergoods put a lot of good detail into these. So first of all, it's attached behind the main panel opening of the pack pack. So you don't have to clip and unclip anything as you're getting in and out of the pack. Really great feature and it kind of compresses it right before that zipper. Another thing that they have are these elastic keepers on the side. So if you do have excess strap going on, it's pretty easy to just quick roll it up. You just put it over and boom, you don't have a bunch of excess strap laying around. We also noticed that this feature exists on the Patagonia Arbor Pack, so it's definitely cool to see the inspiration from Patagonia and GORUCK and kind of how those two came together. You can really tell with this pack how they've been influenced by each of those brands. The sturdy strap panels on the sides here offer a pretty good carry for short distances. They offer a decent amount of padding and firmness but not too much to where it feels squishy. So again, those are gonna be good for just quick carries whenever you need it. And saving the best for last, the harness system on this thing is absolutely killer. So I mentioned before that the pack has kind of more of an aggressive look. Well, this frame sheet is slightly curved that contours to your back, so it fits really nicely and kind of just hugs you. Uh, when you initially put this thing on, it does feel like it's kind of giving you a hug. So these pockets on the sides where the waist belt is, kind of conform around your hips, and then the straps as well kind of curve over the front of your body. Definitely feels great, and for me personally, at six foot two, around 180 to 190 pounds, it works well for me, it fits me super well. Now, it wouldn't be a Pack Hacker review without a couple of gripes, so we're gonna get into those now, little nitpicky details that we noticed. Starting off, the sternum strap isn't entirely attached. Now, it is adjustable, which is good, but it's not fully secure though, so there's a very slight, slight chance it could pull out without you knowing it. There's no way of really fastening it to the side. Although it's really great that it's adjustable. And also with the waist strap, there's really no way to store these. So I've seen a couple people stuff these into the side pockets here. Not necessarily what they're intended to do, but it'll work in a pinch. And that, specifically from Evergoods, is kind of part of the design. So they wanted to create a trail pack and they kind of went all the way and did it all the way. So another thing is with the shape of this pack, 
You can't necessarily stand it up straight because the bottom is angled and Evergoods, again, intentionally did that. They shaped it in this way so that more weight would be distributed to your hips. So when you're on the trail or whatever, it ends up being a lot more of a comfortable carry. This can get annoying in the coffee shop if you wanna have it sitting up next to you with your stuff in it, you're gonna to have to have it lay flat. But again, Evergoods went aggressively in one direction with this pack. One other thing with the harness is that the wing tips aren't necessarily good for everybody. So if you have a wider set or you have a smaller frame, there is a chance that they could kind of poke you in the back rather than contour to your body. So definitely just keep that in mind. I've personally found this system to be great. I like that the pockets are back here. You can quickly access them and you kind of can feel around in there and grab what you need. And I do love the overall harness system of this pack. Big fan of it. There's a bit of a hole on the top of the harness here, and what that's for is that you can thread a hose from a water bladder right through the strap system, so you can access it whenever you need it. The back panel of this is great. It conforms to your body and has a bit of a chevron pattern going on here, which is reminiscent of a turtle shell. And due to the shape of this pack, we don't necessarily need load lifters on it. So if you have a more square travel backpack with a flatter back panel, you're gonna wanna get load lifters on that so you can pull that weight closer to the top of your body and to your back. But in the case of the Evergoods MPL30 and the way it's been designed, it kind of ergonomically curves to your back and fits you. So you don't necessarily need load lifters or something like that as the weight is already evenly distributed with this pack. Moving on to the last exterior feature of the pack, we have these grabbers here on the main panel of the bag. So it's easy to just grab those, quickly rip open the pack, boom, you can get in and get out, get whatever you need. Now, one thing that I did find that's good with these two is it creates like a slight security feature. It's definitely a hack. It's not really what it's intended to do, but you can weave the zipper pulls through here and create a little bit of a more challenging way uh, to open your pack. You could even tie it around that loop or something like that. Isn't necessarily foolproof, but for somebody quickly coming by and just wanting to like open that main compartment and you know get to your stuff quickly it's going to deter them a little bit more so it's definitely good in that aspect there are two exterior pockets in this pack the one on the top here is good it just opens up it's kind of a nice compartment you can fit quick grabs anything whatever you need to put inside of here it sort of just opens flat and it's a nice way to access it move on to the other pocket this here you can access from the side so what the intention is here is that you're wearing the mpl 30 you flip your bag around and you have it like in front of you and then you can access that pocket and one of the gripes that i've heard here is that a lot of people wish that it was on the other side of the pocket so uh for this one you kind of have to let me just put it on real quick boom you put it on here and then you flip it around and then you can get into that pocket here. You can grab whatever you need out of here, which is pretty good. Now, some people will say that they would prefer to be wearing the pack like this, right? And then they would wanna whip it around their right hand side, because if this is your dominant hand, if you're a righty, that feels a little bit more natural. Open it up with the left hand and then be able to dig around inside of there. But the zipper is at the bottom, so it isn't necessarily designed for a righty or a lefty, you can definitely get used to whatever mechanism it has, but again, if we're being nitpicky, uh, that's something that I've definitely seen a lot on the internet. It doesn't really bother me personally or any of the contributors that were taking a look at it. It's something we noticed. A really great thing about these two pockets here is that they are leader independent of the pack. And what that means is, if you load up that main compartment of the pack, which we're gonna get to in a second, just hold on, hold your horses, it doesn't cut into how much room that you have in the entirety of the pack. So it kind of works well as three compartments that sort of independently compress themselves. So as you're putting more and more gear in here, each compartment kind of compresses itself and doesn't eat into the leader capacity of the other compartments. Both of these pockets here have the YKK number eight zippers, really high quality zippers. And then of course we've got the number 10 racket coil zipper, an industry standard for quality on this part. So one of the great things about this main clamshell is you can almost use it as a top loader as well. So the way that the zipper is shaped, you can really just kind of fold down that front and get access to the view of the inside of the entirety of the pack. So that's really nice you just want to quick see what's going on inside. And of course, it also fully unzips as well down to a main panel here. So 
There's a decent amount of room inside of here. Again, if you have packing cubes, that's gonna be the way to go here. Uh, just allow you to organize your stuff a little bit better. There's not a ton of additional organization inside of this main panel, which is totally fine for us. We're, we're packing cubes people. And just a note, the lining here is green and all the zipper pulls are green to make it a little bit easier to see your black gear when it's inside of the pack. Not to be confused with the black zipper pulls and the black material on the outside. It's important to note that the liner on the inside is the same exact material, just a different color. So it's that 420D high tenacity nylon. We got this stash pocket at the top, which perfectly fits a passport, even within a case. And then inside of it here, we've also got a clip for keys, anything that you might wanna put in there. That's definitely good. We move on to this mesh pocket here. So it's a bit of a funky shape. It's sort of got this like wedge trapezoid kind of shape going on. And we found that to be uh, kind of interesting. Of course, with the shape of this pack and the ergonomics, a lot of this stuff isn't gonna be an exact rectangle, but just note that when you're packing it, you know, you could fit a little bit more at the top in this mesh pocket than you could towards the bottom. There's also some nice detailing here with the Evergoods information, which is just nice to have. They definitely do a good job at branding, and it's also subtle. There's not like a huge logo on the outside, right? And if we take out all these packing cubes, we can give you a good look of the clamshell inside of this thing in the main compartment. So there's a bit of a loop here, which is gonna be good for a water bladder hose. So again, you can kind of put your water bladder here, you thread that hose through this hook on the top, and then you pull it through one of these two sides that we got going on here. So you can thread that hose through towards the front of the strap so you can have it hanging next to you at all times. There's a bit of Velcro here and what that is is it's for the frame sheet. So don't use that as a pocket. And lastly at the bottom here we have an elastic part that again is gonna be good for the water bladder or it can hold, uh, we've tested a MacBook Pro up to 15 inches, the older model as well as the new Retina model. So it'll fit that nicely and there's like some corner holes here where the sides can poke out of. So that's just a nice additional feature to have with this pack. At the time of this review, we've been testing the MPL30 for a couple solid months across trips from New York City to Detroit, California, and Minneapolis. During those trips and almost daily use during them, we can say that the pack has overall held up and we have no complaints on the durability at all. The only thing that we will say is that it just ended up picking up some dust and that's about it. Again, from a travel perspective, it's more designed for a trail than it's designed for one bag travel, so just keep this in mind. You're definitely gonna be able to fit more into a more square-shaped backpack, although you can fit a surprising amount of this and it feels really good to carry. So to wrap this up with some pros and cons, there is a lot of well thought out, ergonomic, comfortable design going on with the pack. There's some great thinking around the user experience with the strap keepers, the compression straps, and the overall curved and ergonomic shape of the pack. Also, Evergoods use excellent materials and the build quality is high. For some of the cons, the hip belt is not hideable other than stuffing it into the wing pockets, which is not ideal. The sternum strap isn't fully attached. It also doesn't fit well on every body type, but again, when it fits, it works super well. Although not necessarily categorized as a travel pack, the MPL30 has been a super slick companion and a joy to use. The pros greatly outweigh the cons and we can't wait to see what they come up with next. Hopefully they'll do something with the travel bag soon. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the Evergoods MPL30. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter, subscribe, and never miss an update. So thanks for checking this out. We'll see you in the next review. Joy to use. A joy to use compression straps. Wow. 190 pounds, depending if I've eaten any cake this month or anything like that. <laughs> it's your little secret logo area.